Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video from Helit.life Today we're going to be interviewing Ellie's Dairy at Leland Road Farmers Market to get the lowdown and find out for ourselves if raw milk really is the next superfood How are my goats? Yeah. They're brilliant. Yeah, they won't be happy today though. They'll be indoors. So, oh. but yeah, babies are growing. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Oh, good. Is a lot of babies or? About 160 at the moment. Still is, a few more to come. Is that usual? Or? Yeah, it's about right for this time of year. So. Our milk is totally untreated. It's literally comes out of the goat. It's it's chilled and then bottled and that's it. So much higher in nutrients. It's almost like a natural probiotic. Really, really good for you. And it's very, very fresh. The milk that you get at market is milked either the previous night or that morning. If it's produced properly and hygienically, it's perfectly safe. Yeah. And everyone who produces raw milk has to be licensed and there's rigorous testing as well by various bodies. So yeah, it should be, it should be safe. People don't understand really how it's produced and the background to it, so there's a lot of kind of myths about raw milk. Yeah. But there are the FSA gives certain advice about certain groups of people that shouldn't have it. But again, it's a lot of those people do, and they find it very beneficial. The structure of it is different to cow's milk, and the human body tends to cope with it better, digests it more easily. So a lot of people who have gut problems or skin problems find it very beneficial, especially the raw side of it rather than pasteurised goat's milk. We're not organic, no, we're not certified. We try and farm as traditionally as we can. Um, they are free range, as you see, when they can be bothered to go out. Really? So when it's not too hot, too cold, too wet, too windy, they will go outside. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah, they like to stay indoors quite often. They go out certain times of the day. They tend to go out after milking in the morning okay. for a couple of hours. Then they'll come back in again. Then they go back out again okay. before milking. So, okay. uh, yeah, some of them I think never go out. Some of the older ones <coughs> just can't be bothered. <laughs> like all of so. us sometimes. <laughs> it's too expensive. It's not worth it for us to do it. Because we feed a small amount of barley and sugar beets and you can't buy organic sugar beets in this country. And the barley we get from a farmer who grows it and rolls it just as we want it. And that's not organic. If we were to go organic, it would double the price of the milk. The other thing about organic is, thank you very much, is that people assume that organic is, is the best. And they assume that everything non-organic is rubbish. And that's totally untrue. Yeah, There's yeah. some bad organic farms and some brilliant non-organic farms. You can't really... People have their own reasons for not being organic. For me, a proper farmer's market is a great place because the customer gets to meet the person that produces the food and talk to them. And the people who work in the stalls generally have a, a brilliant knowledge of, of what goes on and how things are made and that kind of thing. Um, and it's a good place for the farmers to get a good price for their for their produce and sell directly to their end no users. Sorry? No middlemen, it seems. No middlemen, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But there is a tendency in some places to have too many farmers markets and they're not really farmers markets. You have to be careful about the terminology as well. Oh, I didn't know anything about this. Well, London farmers markets are certified and they will come and audit you and check that you do actually do what you say you do. But, you know, you just have to be careful about where things come from, traceability. I think some farmers are like Acton farmers market, Acton like... They're food central. markets rather than farmers markets, yeah. yeah. Which are brilliant, but you have to understand the difference between them. Start preparing for markets, well, when we make the cheese on a Monday, the fresh cheese is made on a Monday, so that's going on throughout the week. And then uh, the final bottling and packing is done Thursdays and Fridays, the milk's bottled Friday night. We load up very early Saturday morning um, and hit the traffic and arrive in London, hopefully on time. This morning I got up at half past three.
dropped in at Borough Market, set up at Wimbledon and then came to Ealing and then I have to do it all in reverse going back. Respect, respect, Thank respect. you. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and then by the time I get home, it's milking time and feeding time and baby time. Oh. Goats, pro goats produce is on the increase. That a lot of people are switching to goats milk for various reasons. Um, I think the raw milk movement is very strong and we're seeing that increase, both ga goat's milk and cow's milk, oh, raw milk generally okay. um, I think is increasing as well, more people are becoming aware of it and the benefits of it, so I think yeah, the only way is up hopefully. If you like this video and it helped you then please put a thumbs up and hit a like. If you like what we're trying to do and you want to get more content in the future, please hit subscribe and just generally leave some comments below it'd be great to get a conversation from members around the world thank you so much see you next time